Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in the series of Digital Image Processing. In this tutorial, we'll talk more about filters in image processing. How are filters utilized in different operations? And for this particular tutorial, I want to focus on two different techniques that is convolution and pooling. So let us begin. Let us say we have this image. So it's an array of pixels. So we have a 6 by 6 image. Now for a 6 by 6 image, there are a few uh, quantities that you need to understand that the size of the image is given by n by n and if we utilize a filter which again is a matrix like this for example this filter has a size 3 by 3 now you'll see that each filter will have unique values in uh, its elements now that will depend upon what kind of a filter it is for example this is essentially a blur filter and if you remove this filter and place this filter here this could essentially represent a vertical edge detector and similarly I have a filter here that could represent a horizontal edge detector so any of these filters can be placed along with your image and the size of the filter is defined by f by f so please understand n is the size of the image and by n and then f by f is the size of the filter and if we use this convolution operator between them so you can perform convolution operation on this image using this filter by placing you know the filter like this and sliding it across like this and essentially putting the result in the output all right i'll put in some random values in this image and each of these values could represent a pixel value and if i wish to do convolution operation on this image i would simply take this filter and i will place this filter here and i'll simply keep on multiplying uh, the elements of the filter with the elements of the image and i'll keep on adding all nine of these and i'll store the result in a four by four output image so the output of this image using a 3 by 3 filter is going to be a 4 by 4 filter whatever the sum of the product I get I'll place it here and after having done that I'm going to slide this filter by one position now there are options where we can slide this filter by two positions also and by how how many steps we slide this filter using our convolution operation is given by a parameter known as s which is known as stride so currently if i keep a stride of one so i'll have to slide this filter once and do the multiplication and addition and place it place the result here and then the, i'll go one step ahead do the same thing and i'll go one step ahead and do the same thing i cannot take this filter out of this box so the only option that i'm left with is i'll move one step down because the stride is one i'll multiply the elements within themselves add them place it here so on and so forth and that is why this uh, filter becomes a 4x4 
filter. I've mentioned that in the previous tutorial also. And uh, there's one more parameter which is known as the padding. In order to uh, keep the size of the output image uh, at a considerable uh, dimension, we put an extra layer of pixels around this image. Let us say if I add one more block of uh, pixels on each side of the image that would give me a padding of one. I'll talk about padding in a separate video. It's, it's a super important topic. But for the time being, if I add one more block here and one block at the bottom, so this entire image, if it was surrounded by one block of pixels, that would give me a padding of one. And currently it does not have any padding. So I put a zero here. Now I want to mention a very important formula, which is N plus 2P minus f upon s plus 1 where n is the size of the image p is the padding f is uh, the size of the filter and s is the stride so putting these values here 6 plus 0 minus uh, 3 upon 1 gives me a 4 so that is why the output is of course a 4x4 four four filter right so having understood this thing uh, we know that uh, if we do a convolution using stride of 2 it will impact the size of the output image if we using padding it would also affect the size of the output image uh, but Again, uh, the fact remains the same that the filter is going to be some, uh, some matrix with predefined values and those values are uh, chosen such that they will perform certain operation. For example, this is a horizontal edge detector filter. So it, it is going to find lines in the um, image. Now, another example that I wished to discuss in this tutorial is the uh, pooling using filters. Pooling is another method of processing images uh, to retrieve uh, information of pixels from an image into um, an output image. We use another technique known as pooling and pooling can be understood <coughs> by taking up a filter now let us say I have a filter here this is a blank filter you could think of this as a blank filter and if you place this filter on top of this image now I'll talk about max pooling first now in max pooling what will happen is you simply need to place uh, this filter on top of the image and you will need to check what is the maximum value of the pixel in these nine elements so you'll find that uh, the maximum value is nine so you place a nine here and uh, then again all the parameters remain the same if you keeping uh, stride as one so you slide it by one position and again in this position you'll find the value to be nine and you uh, place the maximum value of this uh, set of elements in uh, in the output of the image in the top left corner so uh, whatever you find maximum here you can place it here so it is pretty simple it does not uh, actually perform any mathematical operation on the image uh, as we did in convolution so the pixels are not being modified only the uh, pixel with the maximum value is being selected and placed at the position um, at the output image so you again slide one more position you get a nine here then you again slide one more position you get a eight here then you keep on doing that and if you go down you get an eight and if you move further you again get an 
it. So a lot of operations can be uh, done using this uh, blank filter in such a way that the maximum pixel value is selected and presented at the output. Again, the second example of pooling could be average pooling where we simply need to place a blank filter on top of the image and we add up all these and divide by 9 so the average is placed in the output image. They perform certain uh, operations on the uh, images like like intensity and brightness graphs etc. So these are the two ways in which filters can be thought of uh, as being used on the images to perform certain operations to get the desired processed output and I hope uh, this quick tutorial on the usage of filters in image processing uh, in two techniques convolution and pooling was of help and uh, I'll see you in the next video uh, take care bye bye